Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today I'll be walking you through applying the adhesive strips on your iMac display. I'm working on a 27 inch late 2012 iMac, but the procedure is nearly identical to a late 2013 and even the latest 5K Retina models. To get started, make sure you have your replacement adhesive strips and a spudger on hand, and then we'll get started by making sure the old strips on your computer and display have been completely removed. If you have a few remaining, you can use the help of your handy spudger to scrape them off the rear case. Now it's time to replace those strips. Remember to take your time and be very careful. The adhesive is very sticky and you don't wanna misalign it. Start with lucky number 13, which goes on the right vertical side. Before peeling off any backing, line it up against the frame of the iMac to get an idea of where it goes. Then you can peel the short piece of backing off the back of the strip. Insert the tip of the spudger into the hole at the top of the strip from the side that has backing on it. Now push the tip of the spudger into the hole in the frame of the iMac. Using the hole in the spudger to anchor the position of the adhesive strip, line the strip up against the right edge. Gently pull down against the spudger to ensure the strip is taut and stick the adhesive onto the frame. Once you feel the strip is in the right place, peel the longer piece of backing out from behind the strip. Next, align the lower portion of the strip with the right edge of the frame and stick it down. Use your finger to smooth out the strip and make sure it sits flat on the frame. Time to add the other strips. Use the same method and work counterclockwise. From strip 13, place strip 12 on the top right, strip 11 on the top left, and strip 16 on the left vertical. If you're working with the 27 inch Retina 5K display, strip 12's blue tabs will not line up with the top antenna in the same way as the regular model. This is perfectly acceptable and won't impact the performance of the strips or the antenna. With strips 13, 12, 11, and 16 on the rear case, we can move on to strips 14 and 15. These guys go on the display itself. Starting with strip 14, remove the white backing. With the front side backing still on, line strip 14 up with the bottom right edge of the rear of the display. The L-shaped corner at the end of the strip should fit around the back of the LCD. Just like with the other strips, smooth out the strip with your finger to make sure there are no bubbles. Repeat this process with strip 15 on the left side of the bottom edge of the back of the display. This means 14 and 15 meet in the middle of the panel. Once you're sure the strips are securely in place and there are no bubbles, you can remove the backing from the strips starting with the ones on the display. Now let's bring it all together. To get the display back in the rear case, lay the bottom edge of the display glass against the top of the lower bezel. Be sure to align the edges of the display with the edge of the rear case. Make sure you don't fully lower the front panel to the rear case in this step. We still have a few cables to connect inside before we close it. Once you feel like the front panel is in the right place, hold it up with one hand and connect the display data and power cables with the other hand. Before you completely seal your iMac, you may want to power it on just to make sure the cables are connected properly and your machine is operating as it should. If everything boots up, you can move on to the final step. Use a microfiber cloth to apply some pressure around the adhesive locations just to make sure you get a solid seal and then you're all set. 
You can find all the parts and tools you need for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com. And let us know how it goes. You can find me on Twitter at Gwendolyn Gay and follow iFixit at iFixit. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. And give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash iFixit.